What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer your data over from your old iPhone to your brand new iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro. So this is going to be an extremely easy process and it seems like it gets better and better every single year that I do this video. So you're gonna be able to transfer over everything including your contacts, your text messages, your photos, your applications, everything so we're not gonna waste any time let's go ahead and get straight into this so first off if you have already passed this screen if you already went ahead and set up your iPhone 12 you can get back to the screen by simply going into settings then you want to go to general then scroll all the way down to reset and you want to do erase all content and settings put in your passcode and then you will be brought back to this initial setup screen right here. But if you have not done that already and you're on this setup screen on your new iPhone 12, we can go ahead and begin. So the first thing you wanna do is actually go to your old device and you wanna go ahead and make an iCloud backup just to be safe. This is not required, but this is definitely recommended. So what you wanna do is go into your settings, tap on your name up top, go to iCloud and then scroll all the way down until you get to iCloud backup. And then you wanna go ahead and click on backup now. You wanna make sure you have a recent backup probably within the past seven days. Now, once again, this is recommended. It's not required to transfer your data over to your new phone, but this is highly recommended to do for everybody. You should already be doing this because if your phone breaks or if you lose your phone and you are not doing iCloud backups, you're pretty much gonna lose everything. All your photos, all your contacts, all your text messages, everything. So you should be doing iCloud backups. If you don't have enough space, go ahead and buy space. It is worth it. You could get it starting at 99 cents per month. So definitely make sure you are doing iCloud backups and make sure you have one saved here from within the past seven days, preferably just do one right before you do this process. And if you go into your manage storage section right here, and then you go down to your iCloud backups, you can actually see other backups as well and delete other backups. So if you don't have enough space because maybe older backups are taking up space, you can actually delete those by going in here and going to backups. And from here, you can actually delete some of those backups. So you can see here, this is my seven plus, so you can see there I can delete maybe like an older backup from this phone. That way I'm able to do a new backup. Or if you have an older device in there that you don't have anymore, you can delete that by just simply going here and delete backup. All right, so once you've done the iCloud backup, let's go ahead and show you how to transfer everything over. And once again, it is very, very simple. So if you're on the screen on your new iPhone 12, all you wanna do is lock the old phone and then unlock it. And you should see a prompt right there. And you just saw it pop up. Let me go back and do that right here. You will see it on the lock screen right here. Maybe when you put in your passcode, so just don't press down on the home button. If you have a home button device, just put in your touch ID or maybe your face ID. And you can see there it says, use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. Tap on continue, and then it will connect. And you can see here, you will have to scan this little code right here. So let's go ahead and scan that with this phone. There we go, we scanned it and now it's going to transfer all the data over wirelessly. So we will have to enter the passcode of the other iPhone, and then it will go ahead and activate the new iPhone 12. Now you do not need to put your SIM card in just yet. It's fine if you wanna transfer it over, it's not gonna hurt anything, but you don't need it. It's not completely required for this step. You could put it in after you've already you know, transferred everything over, but it doesn't hurt. Like I said, if you wanna put it in, you can go ahead and do that with the included SIM card ejector tool. All right, so now you can see we get the prompt for Face ID. So let's go ahead and continue and we will set up face ID so you're just gonna go ahead and scan your face two times it tells you how to do it right here we'll go ahead and click on get started then we have to just position our face in the frame and do two rounds of this all right so there we go we did two scans for face ID and we are good let's go ahead and continue and then here's where you see the option transfer data from Brandon 7 plus so I am transferring the data from my iPhone 7 plus which will probably be a very popular upgrade this year people going from the 7 plus to the iPhone 12 so it says if you're moving, you can move all this data over directly, of course. And if you want to do something else, if you wanted to do an iCloud backup, restore, you can do that by tapping on other options. However, this is the easiest way. So this is the way I'm going to be doing and the way I recommend everybody do. So just go ahead and tap on continue. Then it will set up your Apple ID here. We're gonna go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions right there. All right, so now we get the prompt for settings from your other iPhone. So it says that the following settings can be transferred from my old iPhone, you could, or you could customize them individually. So most people, I would recommend just to hit continue just because you're not really gonna change anything in there. If you go ahead and customize those, it's just gonna transfer over all the settings from your old phone 
to this phone. So you can also set up Apple Pay here if you want to. I would highly recommend setting up Apple Pay if you have not done so already, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set that up later in Wallet just because this isn't my main phone. But anyways, we do have Siri here as well. You do wanna set up Siri as well. You're gonna have to say the command right there so it recognizes your voice and things like that. And then we have our app analytics here, which will basically send data to app developers to help improve the applications. I personally do this. A lot of people may not do that, but there's really nothing privacy related that's you know gonna be exposed or anything like that. So I think there's no reason not to enable that. Then you will have to enter in the passcode for your Apple ID. So for some reason, it's not taking my passcode. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this step. We can always do that later if you want to. That is just for the application. So now you can see it says, transferring data from my old iPhone. Keep your other iPhone nearby and connect it to power until the transfer is complete. So it is recommended to be plugged in to power as well, although it is not required. And you can see this is what it looks like on the older phone. So it basically just shows the same thing. It just says transferring data instead of transferring data from the other phone. So this should not take very long, but it does depend on how much data you have on the old phone. So if you have a lot of games, if you have a lot of data, if you have a lot of text messages, a lot of photos, then yeah, it will take a little while. It more so depends on app sizes. So if you have like a lot of apps, it'll probably take a little bit longer. Usually photos and contacts and things like that and text messages are usually pretty quick just because they're already saved within iCloud. So those tend to transfer over pretty quickly but applications I've noticed have been, you know, what causes this to take a little while. So you can see here, mine does say it's gonna take a little while. I do have some big apps on the iPhone 7 Plus. That could be why. I do also have a lot of photos that are not saved to iCloud. So it is gonna transfer all of that stuff over to the new iPhone 12 here. All right, so we just finished up transferring all of the data and you can see here, this is what it says on the old iPhone. It says transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Before you trade in, give away or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings, which I showed earlier if you had already gone through the setup screen. So now the other device, the new iPhone 12 will be rebooting and you will see this little progress bar underneath of the Apple logo. And then once this is done, you should be back to the home screen and I will show you that we have all of the content intact that we had on our old iPhone. And by the way, mine did take a little bit longer than expected. It took me about 30 to 45 minutes to transfer over all of the data, but that's once again, because I had a lot of large applications and I had some photos that were not done through iCloud. They weren't transferred over via iCloud. They were just on the device. So again, it will vary depending on how much data you actually have. But as you can see here, we did just come back from the reboot. So let's go ahead and unlock. And then it says restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. Let's continue new let's agree and then we have a couple of other things here so improve siri and dictation i'm just going to click no on that i will share the app analytics swipe up and there you go you can see already it is identical the setup and everything is identical to the old device so the widgets are in place the background the wallpaper the app icons literally everything and you can see it's downloading everything else here as well the application so everything is the same also if we go into our messages you can see there that the messages are exactly the same so all of our messages are intact and it's the same for photos you can see we have all of our photos right there exactly the same so as you can tell we have everything transferred over from the old iPhone to the new iPhone 12. So that is a very simple process to go ahead and transfer everything over. And once again, it is wise to have that iCloud backup, which I did recommend early on. It's not required, but it is recommended just for future use. And make sure on your new iPhone 12, you go ahead and enable that as well. So go to your name up here, iCloud, and then make sure you have iCloud backup turned on. And that way it will back up every night when you plug it in and when you go to sleep. So that is definitely recommended just in case you lose your phone or it breaks or something like that. You wanna make sure you have a backup of everything and you may wanna go ahead and enable messages as well. You just wanna enable everything you want to back up. So if you want all of your messages to be backed up, you should go ahead and select that. And of course, photos, you wanna make sure everything is selected. And of course, you wanna make sure to keep an eye on your storage and buy more if necessary. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you transfer all of the data over from your old iPhone to your brand new iPhone 12. So I hope this video did help you out. If it did, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe for a lot more iPhone 12 content coming in the future. And also before you guys go, leave a comment down below with what device you upgraded from. I am very curious to see what devices you guys upgraded from. Of course, this was from an iPhone 7 Plus, and I know that's probably gonna be one one of the more popular ones that people upgrade from but let me know in a comment down below because i am very curious to see what you guys are upgrading from so anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon